take down. After weeks of your voting at Russellicious.com, it is time to announce the winning name for today's takedown battle royal. The envelope, please. It's Cousin Cassie and her choice of a hoedown throwdown. That's today's takedown main event. You gotta keep us separated. go through 19 other Rasselicious girls. All right, what's your point? I can beat every single one of them broads in a New York minute. Well, even if you survive till the end, you still got to meet the other top contender at a later date. All right, that's fine with me, Jimmy. You know what, why don't you do me a favor? Why don't you just go put that crown on ice for me? You know what, I think the crown should be on ice. That way, it can help shrink your swell head. <laughs> Wait a minute. Two remaining wrestlers will meet for the takedown title. The voodoo princess, white magic. The naughty girl, hope. The Polish powerhouse, Alexandra the Great. The Spanish matador, Maria Toro. And finally, the Kentucky wildcat, Amber Lively. The hoedown throwdown is all set, and it's today's takedown main event! Russellicious Takedown is brought to you by the Horny Goat Brewing Company. That, that. Russellicious girls aren't like those girls back at home, Cassie. You know, you just might be a down-home wrestler if your belt used to be a ring rope. Just might be a down home wrestler if you wrestle the dog for a pork chop and win. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to play the country's favorite game show. Are you smarter than a male wrestler? Now, here's your host, Jimmy Hart. Thank you, Don, and what a great crowd we have here today. You know what? Our contestants today are Greg the Hammer Valentine and Rasselicious rapper Little Slam. By the way, I have all your CDs too. Oh, you better be. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hey, the category today is popular culture. All right. Greg, the question's for you. You go first. The rap artist who recorded Can't Touch This was MC what? I, I got it. I got it. M MC squared. <laughs> All right, same question for you, Little Slam. Who recorded Can't Touch This? MC Hammer, baby. My fan, all right? <laughs> well, that hammer sounds familiar. What a chill. I'm Karen Kisses, pop superstar. I got the coolest clothes and the fastest cars. Recently on Takedown, it was the highly anticipated debut of Candy Kisses singing her number one smash hit, Power Bomb. It was an explosive night, but for all the wrong reasons. Is she lip syncing? <laughs> Here's a misstep. And another. Wait a minute. This is Shades of Millie Vanilli and Ashley Simpson. She's lip syncing. This match, number one fall. It is in both of Los Angeles, California. Candy Kisses. 
the dancers the gumdrops trail behind. The Britney Spears of wrestling may be easy on the eyes, but she's hard on the ears. The fans must remember her lip-syncing fiasco because she is about as popular as Congress right now. I wonder if the gumdrops are going earplug shopping. Hey, get me up there! Candy tosses her jacket to Johnny C. He just saved a block. Candy gives the point to some Chicago Illinois. She is the rapper Little Slam. The Chicago Firecracker Little Slam. She's already showing a few moves. She has the fans moving to her feet. They just want to reach out and slap her hand. I think they'd also like to slap Candy Kisses a few times. Fans, if you like what you see here, check out Wrestlelicious.com to see even more of the takedown talent. Candy heads for the corner. Hey, don't you know you can't climb the turnbuckle with two left feet? Show her how it's done, Slam. And the blonde attacks her from behind. Into the ropes, a duck under, a shoulder block, and she goes down. Oh, a wicked clothesline. A cross body block, kisses, kicks out. She's pounding the rapper in the back and a boot for bad measure. Now choking her against the ropes. Maybe Candy thinks if she injures Slam's throat, she'll sound more like her. She's choking her again. She's got the wrapper wrapped up. Whoa, she's crashed into her full force. Maybe if Kisses puts this much effort into her singing career, she'd actually have one. She's going for her throat again. She's purposely trying to tear up Slam's vocal cords. Oh, a vicious chop to the throat. The blonde means business. A little shimmy and another boot. The pop star is giving a command performance, and that command is attack. Will Slam catches her in a sunset flip. Oh, only a count of two. And Kisses is ready for an encore. A snap mare and a kick to the small of the back. Another snap mare and a kick. <laughs> this must be the second verse. Her feet can be deadly even when she's not dancing. Oh, a drop kick nails her. Goes for the pin. She kicks out at two. I haven't seen Candy Kisses this mad since Kevin Federline asked her for a date and alimony at the same time. Into the ropes. She catches the rapper. She sets. Oh, a backbreaker almost splits her in two. The pop star has been trying to teach Slam a lesson. Now if only somebody would have given Candy singing lessons. Now she's trying to stretch out a tune. Little Slam is trying to break out harder than a contestant on American Idol. She's really pulling back. The blonde is punishing her foe. She usually punishes the audiences at her concerts. And Lil Slam is beginning to pick up the beat. She makes it to her feet. An elbow. Wow, a stunner from out of nowhere drops her like her last record label. A clothesline and a repeat performance. She charges. A bulldog, shades of cowboy Bob Ellis. Oh, only a two count. Both grapplers are tired, aching and slow to recover, like any winehouse after dollar beer night. Candy charges. Oh, a spear flattens her. Air has been knocked out of the Windy City native. Now Kisses is arguing with the ref. 
but it falls on deaf ears, just like when she sings. The rap star is slow to rise. Whoa, kisses, misses. She ducked at Enzaguri. Slam is trying to pump up the volume, and the crowd responds. A kick to the midsection. And there's the crunk crunch. There's the pin. And Lil Slam has hit the top of the charts. While Candy Kisses gets tuned out. And the one hit wonder wonders what happened. to the rapper's ears. The pop star Candy Kisses with the gumdrops and rapper Lil Slam are featured in today's episode of Wrestlelicious Parallel. the wrestlers. I'm looking for a few good women. Tracy, our floor manager. No, no, no. You... I don't care. You will eat. You will drink. You will sleep. My training. Got the maggots. The new trainees think that their training includes lavish food and drink. But Boot Camp Bailey has other plans. All right, ladies. These are your trainers. Can the recruits survive on bread and water alone? Will they stick it out or will they desert? We'll find out next time on The Young and the Wrestler. Paige Webb takes back in. She nails Hope with those hard lefts. Hey, wait, Charity has gone under the ring. Well, that's a change. Usually she goes under the bleachers. Stuffed in the brick into her pencil case. What did she take apart to school piece by piece? 
There's a reversal. Faith grabs her. No, she pulls free and decks the naughty girl. Charity's got that trick bag. Hitchcock and Hope gets nailed. She is out. Grab goes for the cover. What a win. The naughty girls will be spending some time in the confessional after this one. Are you waiting for your day? Uh-huh, he's supposed to pick me up soon. I hear he is dreamy. Tell us about him. I think he delivers socks to newborn babies. Well, why do you say that? I heard he's always making booty calls. Aww. <laughs> Take down, we'll be right back. It's the Hold Down Hold Up. This is a special one lady over the top contenders for the WrestleMania's crown. Introducing first, Faith and Hope, the Naughty Girl. The hippie chick, Harley. The Spanish matador, Maria Toro. Toro. The web mistress, Paige Webb. The bad daughter, Tony the Top Allegro. Filling in for the injured Savannah, Charlotte the Southern Belle. From the Jersey Shore, Brooke Lynn. The Texas Twister, Lacey Von Eric. The career criminal, Felony. Polish powerhouse, Alexandra the Great. The Ice Princess, Adam Fox. Lori, the All-American Girl. The Queen of the Vamps, Draculetta. The Rowdy Cowgirl, Tyler, Texas. The Hotel Heiress, Sierra Sheraton. The Kentucky Wildcat, Amber Lively. The Biker Babe, Kickstart Katie. The Island Princess, Maui. And the Voodoo Queen, White Magic! Again, 20 girls on top Battle Royal, the top two contenders for the WrestleMania's crown. Let's go to ringside. It's the Hoedown Throwdown. And Maria Toro starts by taunting Tyler Texas from outside the ring. And the Naughty Girls eliminate the Rowdy Cow Girl. Now Toro is laying into her with hard shot. And the Texan gives it right back. We've got action in and outside of the ring. They're going at it at contestants on The Bachelor. The last two standing will meet for the Wrestlelicious crowd. Charlotte and Brooklyn are locked up tight. Marley pounds like magic. Sierra Sheridan is hanging onto the ropes while Maui and Glory try to cancel her reservation. Brooklyn sends Charlotte up and over. The bell is rung out. Whoa, Marley tosses out white magic. And the naughty girls expel Marley. And Draculetta is buried. And the detention duo throws Amber the bus. Uh-oh, the jig is up. The other grapplers have caught on to their scheme of working together to eliminate their opponents. That's no way to leave the hold down throw down. That's the way. Hope and faith are game talk. Now kickstart 
Katie goes after Lacey Von Eric. And she eliminates the beautiful person. The numbers have dwindled, but the intensity has not. They all want the wrestlelicious crown. Maui has the hotel heiress by her hair, and she's eliminated. Autumn Frost is iced by Alexandra the Great. Glory is double teamed, but Alexandra breaks it up. Hey, wake up, Sierra. It's checkout time. Page Webb charges Tony the top, but the goddaughter deletes her like so much is bad. Start Katie putting that biker boot to the Patriots' throat. Felony dumps Maui. Aloha. Glory turns the tables and makes the biker spin out. Tony the top nails her. Alexander the Great has Brooklyn. The big hair beauty is hanging on for dear life. Felony strikes from behind. Alexandra goes over and takes Brooke with her. And now only three takedown stars remain. Tony the top and Glory battle it out while Felony lurks in the shadows. Tony charges. Glory catches her in a head scissors. They both go over. No, wait. Glory holds on. The top hits bottom. Felony and Glory will meet for the WrestleMania's crowd, and they don't want to wait. The refs are trying to keep them separated. They've just gone through 18 girls, and they still want more. The officials may wind up over the ropes. Now security joins the fray. When they meet, will justice prevail or crime prevail? This has been another nifty episode of Takedown. Tune in next time. I'll be waiting.